Open Japanese Design Step 4. In this point type object, we've got two levels of text information. The parenthetic text, by definition, is of subordinate importance to the text outside and preceding the parentheses. Armed with a full kit of typographic tools and the knowledge to use them, there are many ways we can format the text to create a visual representation of that hierarchy. Allow me to introduce you to one more tool you can add to your typesetter's belt. Warachu halves the size of less important characters and stacks them atop one another. Select the characters inside the parentheses, but not the parentheses themselves, like so. Now select Warachu from the Character Panel menu. Boom! Instant visual subordination. With vertical text, such as this parenthetic phrase in the magenta text, this is how Waruchu looks. In this case, that's too small, so I'm going to undo this and leave this text without Waruchu. Open the Waruchu settings from the Character Panel's flyout menu. Here you can see that you've got a tremendous amount of control over Waruchu. First, you can set the number of lines and the corresponding scale of the glyphs that result from Waruchu. You aren't limited to two lines and half-size glyphs. With this drop-down, you could easily make longer passages of text 3, 4, or even 5-line Waruchu. 5 is pretty rare, but if you need more, create two paragraphs, both with Waruchu. Line Gap allows you to specify the distance between the two, three, or more lines of text. This is handy when adding Waruchu to small text, like if we'd kept Waruchu on the magenta parenthetic phrase, and if the lines of that smaller text are stacked a little too tight for comfortable reading. The line gap field also accepts negative values to counteract the opposite when the typeface creates too much line separation. In the alignment field, you can override the alignment applied to the rest of the paragraph, changing just how the Waruchu text aligns with the full range of alignments available to any paragraph. This is a tremendously useful option. It's common to align Waruchu text centered when the lines don't contain an even number of characters. Sometimes, designs are also best served with fully justified Waruchu phrases or other alignments that differ from the preceding and succeeding text. In the past, and with other applications, designers often have to set Waruchu text as completely separate objects just to get the alignment difference between it and surrounding text. With this yellow text, that wouldn't be too difficult, just mildly annoying. In the magenta text, however, creating two separate objects just to give the Waruchu text a different alignment from the rest of the paragraph, where that parenthetic phrase appears right in the middle of a line, would be a pretty big task. And it would have to wait until the text is completely finalized, lest you have to do it all over again. Fortunately, Illustrator's alignment control takes the boulder away from Sisyphus. The line breaking options ask you to choose a minimum number of characters per line before the application of Waruchu breaks a line. Two is the minimum you want. You don't want single characters stacked if you can at all avoid it. Two isn't the maximum you can specify though. If you find two character lines too short, change the values in these fields to tell Illustrator break after three, four, or more characters. Line breaking controls work in conjunction with the number of lines field at the top. Leave the line breaking fields alone and change the lines field to three instead of two. Now our highlighted phrase is three lines of Waruchu text. We could even change the scale field from 50% to 30% and get third sized Waruchu text. Illustrator's controls make Waruchu of any style as easy as rolling a rock downhill. 